In this video I will show you how to create a full backup for your business objects environment with 360 plus. So if you have 360 plus you will have these options. If you go to tasks and then backup tasks create a new task give it a title and set your frequency uh, most typically you want to set it recurring on a nightly basis um, have it run in the evening the first time it runs it will run a full backup and then the subsequent runs will all be incremental So I'll start it at 7 p.m. Then you want to select what you want to back up. Uh, I would suggest checking all the boxes. The access levels, your public folders, just check everything. Even if it's something you don't have, it doesn't hurt to check it. Maximum number of backups, the default's five. You can increase that or decrease it. That will just determine how many backups are kept of a particular object, so that's per object. The parallelize the backup process, if you check that, this will allow you to process objects in parallel, so it'll back up objects at more than one at a time. Uh, so this should be set based on the number of cores you have available on the server where 360 is running. So if you have four cores available, you can set that to four check include subcontainers, include content. If you want to back up your inboxes and personal folders, check those as well. Uh, you can exclude, these are the uh, promotion management jobs, you want to exclude those and if you have any probes from the monitoring solution in the CMC, you could check that so those don't, don't get backed up. You can back up all instances or choose to only back up recurring instances and you can specify the number to choose. You can put the star, the asterisk is, the, um, is for unlimited. So I'm just going to choose all instances, click next. So notification, so you can get notified uh, when a job is complete so that you know it was successful, if there was an error whatever the case may be. So I suggest setting that up at least in the beginning so that you get the information that it's running successfully but really ongoing it's good to have that alert. Okay and the subject um, you can use these uh, so I can use the task title so if you have a, a, a good title that's you can use that and then maybe status name um, you can join the log if you'd like, just have to give it a name. Okay, so I, I gave the text file a name and then um, the statuses. So if there's an error, I want to receive a message and make sure you put something in the message field. So that'll tell me if there's a warning or, or a, an error. So this will tell me if there's an error. Click Add and then do this for each of the statuses. So it's successful. And you can put whatever text you want in there. I'm just giving an example. And then the warning. So I'm going to get an email regardless of what um, is the status is. So I'll get an email for successful warning and error. If you want to edit that, you can click Edit or, or Remove them. I can click Add. And then next, I don't have any trigger events, so I'm going to click next and confirmation. Make sure everything is is set. This is the overview of all my details of what's going to be backed up. Click add. Okay, and I'll see the full backup here. And this will be in the pending state. Um, until it's it starts, so it's going to start in a couple days at 7 p.m. Um, when it's running, it'll show up in the running tab, and when it's finished, it'll show up in the finished tab. If I want to make any changes, right click and click update, and I can make any changes that I want. So if you wanted to change something in this setting, maybe I want to go back to a different um, number of objects to process, I can do that. Just click next. So maybe I'm going to change this to to three. Click next, next next and update and that will change it. You can change anything um, in that schedule. 
Okay, and just make sure this says stop scheduler. If it says start scheduler, you'll need to check that. So in the top right corner, uh, mine's running, so it says stop scheduler. And then when it's finished, you will see um, you'll have logs available. So here's a job that's finished. If I click on right click on it and select display log, so I can select display log it'll give me information so these orange this orange text is indicating some some errors so I might have some unbound documents that aren't able to back up that's pretty normal um, and everything else got backed up you can click on show summary it'll give you counts of all the successes and failures um, so you see a full count of what was backed up and every night that will run and again the first time it runs it's a full backup the subsequent runs are all incremental